Isaiah Stewart should have been drafted in the NBA a couple weeks ago. Maybe Quinton Rose, too. Instead, both are waiting for the next step of their basketball careers. They made very good use of the extra time today, giving young players in Rochester an example and a voice. A.J. Feldman can explain. In the scorching heat here in downtown Rochester, over 200 people joined local NBA draft prospects Isaiah Stewart and Quinton Rose as they dribbled for 8 minutes and 46 seconds to protest systematic racism and remember the lives lost to police brutality. Two, one. 8 minutes 46 seconds. That's a long time to, you know, have your knee on somebody's neck. So, uh, you know, it's going to be very easy to dribble, but it's not very easy to uh, breathe when, you know, someone knees on your neck. So that's what we want to get the point across. As they say, like, athletes told them to shut up and dribble. So it's just we don't want to do the opposite, never want to shut up, and we want to speak our minds. So I feel like this is a good way to get that point across, to especially the younger athletes. It was a truly diverse crowd, young and old, players and coaches, county and city schools all coming together to form one voice. It's a really good opportunity, um, and I want people to take away that, that Black Lives Matter. Come out here. Don't just come out here for a trend or just to be seen. Like, come out here for the movement. Just really take it in and, and do it for the cause. You know, we're using our platform for them to speak out. Um, let them know that we're here for them. Um, you know, anything they need, they can always reach out, contact us. Um, you know, we're doing this for the community. We're doing it for Rochester, New York. So younger athletes just standing up for what they believe in and fighting for what they believe in, no matter the circumstances they're in. And just showing them that, like, I've been through the same thing that they're going through. I just want them to know that we're all in it together. When the NBA draft comes in October, Stewart and Rose will leave Rochester and become professional basketball players. However, it's clear that they'll never truly leave Rochester and they'll continue to use their voices for change. Reporting in downtown Rochester, A.J. Feldman, News 8.